Now we visit with South Bay native Sean Rosenthal. He has his name on the pier two times. Here I am with my buddy, Sean Rosenthal, affectionately known around the world as the son of Jarrell Superman because he's the sickest athlete on the entire planet. Here we are, Sean, in Manhattan Beach, the South Bay. Why is this such a special place for you? And this is just a special place, I would think, to anybody. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I was born and raised here. Um, started my volleyball career here. And uh, I think volleyball started in general here. The Mecca. Uh, yeah, it's the Mecca. So, I mean, uh, you know, I've been in a lot of places in the world. A lot of beaches. They're all beautiful, but uh, there's no place like home. Now, you grew up going to Redondo Beach High School, just a couple miles away, and you grew up 8th Street, Hermosa Beach. That, that's where you learned the game. What age did you start playing? I started playing at 14, and uh, we was just down at 8th Street with a bunch of friends, and you know, next thing you know, I, I qualified for Manhattan Open when I was 16, and uh, you know, from there on, I just, I just wanted to play this game. And, you, you, you understand that qualifying for the Manhattan Open at 16 is rare. Very rare, <laughs> yeah. And especially two years after you started playing. But uh, it, was, it was just something about the game that, uh, you know, just kind of clicked on me and I just loved it. Fast forward to 2009, the Manhattan Beach Open, you know, the Wimbledon of our sport, the granddaddy for a kid that grew up here, qualified at 16, you finally get that win with Jake Gibb. What, what did that moment mean for you and your career? Just to get a win out here was, was big, but the Manhattan Open, I mean, it's, it's like uh, what guys like Tiger or Nadal would think about Wimbledon or the Masters or something. So it's, uh, you know, for us, it was, it was huge. And let me ask you this, Sean. I mean, I, I, I'm assuming it, but I feel like there was always a lot of pressure on you when it came to Hermosa and Manhattan because all your friends are here, the Rosies Raiders, and it was a home game for you. Yeah, no, it, it is for sure. And then uh, most of the tournaments we play are all hard pack sand, and then you come out here to the deep sand in front of uh, all your boys and all your, all your family and friends, and uh, it, it, it definitely gets a little tough, a little, uh, little nerve wracking. Not saying the Raiders make it any harder on me because I'm sure they make it harder on the other teams than they do on me but Rosie's Raiders a group of young men that you grew up with uh, and they have multiplied over the years it started out a nice little group and, and it's gone to enormous numbers around the world oh they're great I mean they're all really good friends from childhood and uh, well at least the main core of them and then uh, obviously it's brought friends of friends and uh, you know they come out support at the tournaments and uh, they're, they're, they're just they're known all over the place. They have as many sponsors as I do. I mean, <laughs> That's amazing. Every, every tournament we go to, they got a thousand dollar bar tab somewhere. I'm like, how do you do this? How do they do it? I don't know, but well, they do it. You go to 2010 and we all go through some rough times. The AVP closes its doors on August 13th and, and the Manhattan opens just a couple of weeks away. Uh, there's some controversy because the city takes it over and we're gonna go to the, the old school rules, big court, side out scoring, and some people don't play, but you say, you know what, I'm gonna defend my title. I grew up here, and you play with, with your buddy Aaron Wachfogel, and you win it again. What did that title mean to you? That title, that title meant a lot as well, just, uh, just being able to play with, with Aaron, who uh, we went to the same high school together. We grew up playing our youth sports together, and uh, it was great to, to get out here and, and to get, you know, this, this pier is full of Maricosta players up on here. So for uh, Aaron and I to go out and be Redondo Union High kids and uh, to get our name out there together was, was something special. Sean Rosenthal, two-time defending Manhattan Beach Open champion. Thanks, Thank bud. you much, Peter. Thank you.